Sunshine. I hope you guys are doing great. I'm super fabulous. Join me for lunch. I literally revamped this pizza, guys. I ordered this pizza yesterday and it was so bland. I did it was so tasteless so right now today I was like I, I have to eat this pizza and finish it because I bought large so what I did today I added a bit of tomato sauce more mozzarella and jalapeno so fresh from the oven I revamped it because you know I need I can't eat tasteless food but anyway let's continue with my video so actually let me have a bite because I'm super hungry I literally woke up late today because I don't know yesterday I wasn't feeling well I had a bit of a headache mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. now it tastes really good guys 100% because happy mancha has superpowers <laughs> superpower hands when it comes to cooking mm -hmm. So getting back to the video today I'm going to talk about culture shocks I've encountered while traveling around the world um, the first culture shock I'm gonna talk about is actually from Africa. In East Africa, I went to two countries that have this same culture. So in Kenya and Tanzania, there is a tribe called Maasai, Maasai tribe. These are people that uh, wear a red and black striped cloth. They are famous for heading cattle and being warriors of protection. When I was in Tanzania, I was still with my younger brother and uh, we went to this beach site area called Kendra and that's where we met and actually engaged with a lot of them because there's a lot of them in the beach area that are guarding uh, protecting people from I don't know whatever that happens around there and uh, so yeah there's actually a friend of mine who's a Maasai uh, we met there in Kendra he was following me on Instagram and he used to watch my videos a lot and comment a lot I don't know what happened to him I can't find him anymore his name is Ola I hope he's watching this and hi Ola if you're watching I hope you're good and uh, yeah he used to hang around us a lot and he used to protect us like would be in a restaurant uh, around 6 or 7 p.m. or maybe late night and he would just come out of nowhere just to come walk us back to our hotel and I felt like oh he's so sweet he is so selfless and most of them most of the Maasai people are very selfless people um, they are also famous for enjoying um, singing and jumping as high as they can and it's one of their famous dances and yeah so what was shocking about this tribe for me was that um these people lived under trees they lived on the beach i was so shocked because uh ola was always around us so one time i asked him where he stays because i thought he literally stays closer to where our hotel was because he was always there then he told me his home like his village where he comes from is like thousands of kilometers away from where we were and i'm like okay but where do you stay now it's like he stays on the beach i'm like how do you stay on the beach when it, what if it's cold or it rains or whatever and uh yeah but anyway we didn't get too much into detail i just figured out that that's how they live you know that's their culture they're used to heading cattle they live under trees it's just a way of living for them and they're very okay with it but for me it was a culture shock but anyway the Maasai people are the most friendliest people you can ever come across I really had a great time in Kendra because we met a lot of them and they they, they have all the time to sit with you and tell you beautiful stories and all of that yeah so that was a culture shock for me when people tell you they sleep under trees and yeah it's something that I've never come across unless maybe I'm in a place where I'm used to seeing people 
on the streets sleeping on the streets because they are homeless and all of that but with them they are not really homeless it's just their culture that's how they live you know to the next country i have about five guys so i have about five culture shocks for now to the next country which is georgia uh georgia is a country that's still you know maintaining their history and um you can see that history in in their buildings most of them in their buildings like they're very old 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 buildings and um, most of them actually look like they're about to collapse and all of that and they're still maintaining that they don't want to change the image of those buildings and that was so shocking to me but the most shocking thing was that once you walk inside that you know collapse collapsing building the interior the design inside is totally different it's so beautiful it's warm it's oh my god it's so exclusive like it's it's, it's something that you you just be shocked like outside it looks like you know things are falling apart but when you walk inside it's like you're you're walking into into a new age of life and uh, the modernity inside there is crazy um so it was so shocking i was just like oh my god and one time my friend and her brother because i was with my brother my friend and her brother came and we looked for an apartment where we could all stay together we we did not see the exterior of the place we booked but the interior was so beautiful hence why we we booked the apartment but once we got there the building was all was so crazy it was so crazy honestly and one time one of my videos i we were coming out of that building and it looked like it was <laughs> i don't know how to explain it it looked like we were just coming from an abandoned um building my mom called and she's like are you kids where are you staying where are you staying are you sure it's a safe place and da -da -da -da. i'm like yeah it's actually very safe it's so quiet it's beautiful we are literally enjoying our stay and it's just how they are living and they don't see no problem with it there's no problem even uh, we didn't see any problem with it it's just we just you know acknowledged and you know that's just how they live and another thing is that they have um sulfur rich hot pools or baths uh they are traditional ones like natural uh, sulfur baths uh and private ones but obviously i'm a traveler and i'm not used to it so i had to go to a private one mainly because you have to undress and be all naked naked uh so yeah they have that these public ones and private ones my own experience i went for a private one and uh, it was so 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 good it was so amazing it's got healing properties if you've got skin conditions or you need some emotional healing it is so rejuvenating it's so refreshing it's medicinal so i really enjoyed it but the shocking part is that there is a woman who will come in and scrub your body while you're naked and uh, yeah i wasn't used to that it was shocking because i'm used to like spa going to a spa where you can be massaged but you can keep your andes and a towel over you but with with the sulfur bath is different because they literally scrub you while you are completely naked so anyway but it was so amazing i really enjoyed the experience it was amazing it was out of this world so yeah that is the second one in georgia and then moving on to the philippines philippines when i was there the culture shock or maybe it's tradition their tradition i came across was experiencing their christmas spirit which starts from september until the very end of the year which is december they are christmas that's from september september when you're in the philippines expect to see a lot of decorations like in public a lot of uh christmas lights and dancing christmas light events and all of that the christmas spirit is so immense that um you cannot miss it like everyone is so excited everyone is so energetic and um it was something that is so completely different from where i come from 
but the most shocking part is that they actually celebrate the actual christmas day on the 24th evening but where i come from we literally celebrated exactly on the 25th in the afternoon that's where people visit families and friends to eat have you know an amazing afternoon and uh yeah but in philippines it's actually done on the 24th that evening that's when they visit families and friends and they enjoy their beautifully made home-cooked food and all of that they gather and enjoy in the evening of the 24th that is something totally different so it was a bit shocking like oh wow interesting and then moving on to the fourth culture shock that i encountered was uh in thailand the greetings for men and women are different when a man greets he has to say sawadi krab and when a woman greets she has to say sawadi ka it is so totally shocking like where does it have to be different but like that's that's their culture you know and uh yeah i got to learn all of that and every time i'll be like somebody cares somebody cares that's a lady's greeting but when a man speaks he has to say somebody crap and for me that was like oh okay shocking but yeah we have to live with it and i got used to it and uh, i always greeted the same way women greeted which is somebody car another thing again in uh, thailand the last one the fifth one in thailand the new year which is in april celebration is a water festival in which people are supposed to splash water on each other on strangers doesn't matter who you are and they use water guns to do that that was so shocking to me like how can you just you know pass by a stranger and just decide to splash them water i was so excited to experience this it is called song Khan. guys i'm literally literally going to go back to thailand for this particular event because it is one of my favorite events i've ever 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 attended it is one of the best videos and i still say it today it is one of the best videos i've ever done in my whole entire time of creating content on youtube i really loved song Khan so much it was so so amazing it was so exciting and for some reason that event did something to me i don't know i don't know what i could call it it brought some kind of a healing i don't know what it is i can't explain it but it was so amazing it was so amazing i was just you know splashing water on everyone they were splashing water on me i was soaking wet by the time i decided to go home i was so exhausted but i was so so rejuvenated i was so refreshed that event was the best event i've ever attended to be honest with you and as much as it was shocking it was absolutely worth it it was absolutely fantastic it was crazy it was wild it was beautiful in all aspects people were so happy and i will do it over and over and over again so thank you so much for watching my lovelies those are five i think i actually mentioned six culture shocks i've encountered while traveling the world i'm here to encounter more and more and more culture shocks guys and there is more that i'm going to experience and i hope you stick around for you to know what happens in different countries don't forget to subscribe my lovelies and make sure that you hit on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on my upcoming videos from me today it's all love toodles toodles Tú eres una prueba que el mundo a mí nunca me brinda. Oh.